can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three out of Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wild. Bruce Lee, he has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. So the 135 pound division has been owned by this man. He is showing no signs of slowing down, and not unlike some other champions we have, showing new wrinkles with every passing title. Every time he gets into the octagon, he looks better. There's something new. There's something improved about our champion. He's just one of those guys that will never take a day off. He will never allow for someone to be working when he isn't. He's so intent on being dominant that he makes sure that he leaves no stone unturned. Tonight he has done that, and he, is, he, he assures us that he's going to keep his championship. There were a few guys that could have gotten this title fight. He believes the most worthy opposition got this opportunity. Now the champion's job is to turn it back. Herb Dean, our referee Ready. for this one. Ready. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, nice inside kick. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. I mean, right away, no feeling out process. These boys just went and started fighting. You see, he's trying to get the timing down to set up that counter, but just misses there. Yeah, left hook found its target. Very nice leg kick there by Yudon. It's those leg kicks that seem to alive. Strike there by Lee. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Wow, what a head kick. Another big head kick lands. He is not seeing those head kicks coming as his foot leaves the campus. Oh, nice takedown defense. And now some separation. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice eyes on the defensive side. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now it's starting to show. Both fighters throwing heat now. Solid kick right there. Nice shot there by the champ. 
And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, or five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Just missed with the leg kick. That's nice. Thirty seconds to go. Nice counter shot there. Beautiful head movement, slips there. 15 seconds. Oh, a huge block there. Let us now check out some of the action, DC, and what a display of body striking there in that previous round. I mean, the last time I saw this done at this level was Valentina Shevchenko and Jessica I. Body kick, body kick, body kick. Eventually look for him to go over the top to try to end the fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself out. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes. And at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. But tonight, he has worked the body to great effect. And those are really starting to take their toll. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing this training? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Lee go with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kick. 
Undertaker, but that attempt missed. Oh, big head kick there! Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the day. Lands to the body. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off to the side. You just can't take it clean. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Like, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Upper cut to the head. All right, he engages in the single battle tie. And now some separation. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. That's a big one. He can barely stand. The takedown is not there. 45 seconds remain in the round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And the front kick is there. Nice job by you, Doug. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. He's hurt. He's but look, he's a warrior. So he's gonna just try to go forward and try to finish, but his leg is destroyed. Final seconds here of round two. Oh, Talents with a straight right hand. That'll work. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick. Yep. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, that's the end of the round. That is not the end of the bleeding, as you see the cut on the bridge of the nose, and that thing is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. The cut man is going to give that some attention, but that's not an ideal location either. That blood is getting into the mouth. Ugly stuff for him to deal with here. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of the nose. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very easily matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level. That'll do it! That would top it one of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout.